Yo, 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 what's going on everyone? The Blitz Wonderful One here, back at it again for another video. Just want to point out real quick why I haven't been posting videos in the last past recent few days. Uh, it's just because um, I haven't been getting any views um, or gaining any subscribers lately. So, yeah, just being kind of... Um, being getting bored of YouTube, uh, I guess you can say. Uh, it's just because I, like, I posted, like... In total now 300 videos so and like been getting barely any videos the one video I did get the most views was 1300 something views that is like a lot especially for my YouTube channel um, it was just me talking about the Astro C40 controller but I don't mainly do topics like about like that um, for videos so I mainly do gameplays me getting nuclears or something like that or me doing like 30 something you know in a gameplay so I mainly do gameplays like that but uh, I don't mainly talk about upcoming stuff maybe I should but uh, we'll see so enough rambling let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video so um, Infinity War just posted this photo as you can see um, happy holidays and Captain Price driving a Vietnam um, war era jeep or um, even possibly World War II Jeep because um, this particular model Jeep was used in World War II and Vietnam War era Jeep as well so um, just looking at Captain Price's outfit it looks more a bit more like a Vietnam um, era Jeep uh, uniform sorry his uniform looks more like a Vietnam era just looking at like the straps on his shoulder and the collar it looks a bit like um, an infantry World War II uh, soldier but because I doubt it's going back to World War II because um, Captain Price back in World War II he was a different Captain Price and his moustache was much more different uh, he only had a moustache on like the top part of like his chin going down not on the bottom so I doubt so because we haven't seen Captain Price in Vietnam so uh, so I reckon the photo if you look at the photo it has the infinite warfare ro robot so it's going back to infinite uh, so it's taking us so it's going from infinite warfare to modern and then it's like looks like it's taking us back to Vietnam era I don't mind Vietnam but honestly modern COD is the best option unless they do something like for example like so say they do like a modern call of duty game but they have like a nava game mode and it's like a vietnam game mode so it's like another type of breed hybrid of call of duty so i wouldn't mind if they do something like that like a modern cod but um they do like another multiplayer separate and it's like it's still in the same game but it's separate it's like a vietnam a multiplayer game out like COD games should do that to be honest with you. That'll be nice. Apparently, this year's COD will be um, it would be the last COD that we will get. I don't know because uh, I just uh, saw an article about it. Apparently, this is gonna be uh, last year's um, 2019 is gonna be the last year for Call of Duty. If it is, uh, that's sad, but uh, but COD is sort of dying. Uh, for next year's COD, they need to bring back quick scoping. It just needs to be the true classic COD, and yeah, like the quick time to kill and everything. It needs to be back. Honestly, quick scoping needs to be back, and yeah, because if you look at the, because everyone's saying it's World War Two, but you can't really say because the the uniform Captain Price is wearing looks a lot like a Vietnam uniform, and this particular model of jeep was used in vietnam war so he's yeah so it it would be vietnam if anything but it's just the photo i mean it could it could be a hint of it going back to vietnam it could be world war ii but um what i reckon it's gonna do flashbacks so it could be cod vietnam for who knows i reckon they should do more cods like cod afghanistan and stuff because we haven't um, done CODs like that, like at all, CODs, um, my COD, Call of Duty, um, Iraq War, like, we, we still haven't done CODs like that, so, 
I reckon next year we're going to get a sort of hybrid Call of Duty, something Vietnam and modern. Uh, that's what I reckon. I could be completely wrong, but this Jeep was used in Vietnam War, and the uniform he's wearing is Vietnam. And plus he looks younger here as well, so you can't argue with that. Because you can sort of make an excuse because Captain Price was in World War II. Um, it was a different Captain Price. I think he's like the great-great-grandfather of Captain Price, the one, the modern one we know today. Um, but he looked a lot different. Like the, the cap he's wearing was red as well, and the symbol on his cap was the same. But his moustache was different, and he just looked a lot different. Um, and the uniform looks different as well, so the uniform on here looks like more like uh, Vietnam and you can see Ghost and Riley there uh, we could be just getting a modern COD in general but um, they're just making us our uh, guess so we could be actually just getting a modern game but they're just uh, not giving it to us like directly they want us to guess but it probably is a modern game because if you look at it there, it's going from Infinite Warfare to COD Ghost, and then it's Captain Price is driving us back, looks like to Vietnam, so to the Vietnam era. Because we haven't seen Captain Price in the Vietnam era at all, so that will be nice to see, but I reckon it should be a modern game. But um, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, but if it is a Vietnam game, I heard... Uh, Asa, I think his name is Asa or uh, Arsa. Um, so his YouTube name, yeah. So it's Asa, I think. Yeah, it's Asa or Arsa. He was saying it's going to be a World War II, completely a World War II game. Um, just because of the Jeep and uniform. Uh, like, if it is a World War II game, I am probably going to lose my crap because we just already had a World War II game. And plus, not only that, it just doesn't make sense. If they do make a World War II game, if they do, and it's done right, the campaign is none of this like French cricket. The campaign was just pure bad in um, in World War II. Like, it didn't show you how like Russia took down Ber uh, Berlin, and yeah, it was just bad. It was just like trying to save uh, his friend in a prison. That's all the story was pretty much in World War 2 and um, so it makes sense if it's Vietnam but because the Vietnam the Jeep that particular Jeep was used in Vietnam era so is still like modern so um, I don't know next year we could getting a different hybrid of COD maybe <laughs> apparently I heard somewhere they might do Battle Royale they'll probably take out zombies um, uh, instead of multi, uh, instead of campaign, because honestly, who plays zombies? Like zombies is like in Call of Duty when it first came out it was very good, but uh, zombies in Call of Duty that it's just bad. Like, uh, like once you've done the Easter eggs, it's boring. That's it. You're done with it. Zombies is just, um, in my opinion, it's just very annoying. I don't see how people can keep playing it. It's like so repetitive. Like, multiplayer in Call of Duty itself is very competitive, but this one is just, Zombies is even, like, way more uh, repetitive um, than normal uh, multiplayer. So, yeah. Um, so, my thought is, I reckon next year will be probably a mix or even flashbacks. I do reckon it's going to be COD 2019 uh, Modern Warfare 4. I don't know, I really hope they do a bundle like Modern Warfare 2 Remastered with it, I really do, because I really want Modern Warfare 2 Remastered as well, and Modern Warfare 3, I wouldn't mind them, because the Intervention, imagine seeing that remastered with Diamond Camo, and the MSR, imagine that, uh, seeing that remastered, that would just look insane. The MSR was probably my favourite sniper overall, because the MSR, the sound and the feel, of the gun it, it just feels nice and the intervention as well but there's something about the MSR that just feels really good um, so we'll get back into the gameplay now 
So, so this gameplay, I go 33 and 0 in one game, and then 27 and 0 in the next game. So yeah. Uh, so I pop it up on screen right now. Uh, me doing. I played with a streamer recently. Uh, his his YouTube name is uh, Air Bear. Yeah, Air Bear. So it's in capitals Air Bear, and then so I'll put some gameplay of him right now. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Get freaking flanked, bro. So yeah, as you can see, um, it is good. Um, he's not like the best Call of Duty player. He's decent. He's he's alright. Um, but if he's watching this video, yeah, thank you for letting me have uh, have me on stream. So next gameplay would be me um, doing gameplay of. I was originally going to just put some gameplay up as well of um, of him doing the stream and I'm in the gameplay. So, but he took the video down. I don't know why he took the video down, but okay, I recorded some gameplay. So, uh, my next gameplay will be on that. I don't know if I accidentally deleted both uh, all the gameplays. I'll have to check if I don't post any gameplays of that. Then that's me. I accidentally deleted it, but. Yeah, because PS4, my PS4 is getting really clamped with um, a lot of videos running out of space. Uh, so yeah, so that'll be my next video, and then after that will be um, video of me uh, doing uh, diamond camo SMG gameplay. I recently just got diamond camo for my SMGs because uh, I like on close range maps like slums or like uh, seaside. I love using the Spitfire. The Spitfire is probably my most favorite SMG, and the sword. The sword just comes right next to it. Uh, so I just mainly want to get Diamond Camo for that because Diamond Camo looks really good on that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's um, all I got to say for the video. Please like and subscribe if you're new, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.